What's he, what, what? I'm in love with these trucks. You like these trophy trucks? Aren't they cool? Look They're at the orange cool. one right here. They're pretty cool. They got a little bit of money wrapped up in them. Yeah. How lucky am I? Trucks. How lucky am I? My <laughs> wife enjoys something that I do. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot together. We do. Everything. We do. And this is pretty awesome. This is our first. We've told you a number of times. This is our first desert race. Everybody keeps asking us questions and we don't know, but then I think, oh, we have oh, our yeah. vest on. She's got her vest on. So I think they think that we're information center and we know nothing. You're important. I am. Yeah, this is these these racing trucks. I'm yeah. in love. This is the first time I've seen a trophy truck in person. They're pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, they've got, they, well, here comes one right now. Listen, I mean, just the rumble the of the engine. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is, oh, I love it. This is a lot of fun. There's a lot of money here. Yes, I told Jim, I said, well, we can get one, but we have to sell our property <laughs> and our rig and our car, and yeah. we still probably wouldn't I'm, have enough. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm still not sure we could afford it. <laughs> this is an expensive sport, but yeah. it is pretty cool. It is so cool. Anyway, we're having a good time. The pit crews, and it's, it's pretty awesome. It is. Yeah. race isn't there oh so much behind the scenes it's crazy yeah so the race only lasts I mean it's a it's a whole day it's a long day it's 5 30 in the morning till like 10 at night yes but there's a lot leading up to the race as well 
and they have what they call pre-qualification, a pre-qual. And that's where we were, that's what you got a chance to see uh, was the pre-qual where all the trucks and all the cars uh, basically run a short course and they get timed and then their staging for the for the actual race is based on their pre-qual time. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was neat because it gives us a chance, it gave us a chance to get in and and see the cars and see the trucks, listen to the rumbles. Yeah, uh, up, and cl up close and personal, I yeah, tell you. Yeah, we got to see them offload the trucks. Yeah. We got to see them drive the trucks up to the staging line. Mm -hmm. It was it was pretty cool, and and we had a lot of fun. So, what was your favorite part of that prequel? When they first started, they have a jump. Yeah. And I that was pretty fun. I like yep. that. It was. Yeah. Yep. So they were actually run the prequel once. And they get to map out the prequal, and then they actually run it at their best time. Mm -hmm. And dirt's flying everywhere. There's <laughs> dust everywhere. It's it's a family friendly event. It really it is. is. Everybody was so nice. Yeah. The pit crew were great. Yeah. Everybody was just awesome. Then they have what they call contingency row, and we're going to get to that here in just a second. But before we get too far into this video, we want to thank our sponsor. RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Yeah, we've been working with uh, Brooklyn Bedding for going on two years. Crazy. We've had our mattress. Can you believe we've had our mattress in our rig for almost two years? No, because it still feels like it's brand new, and I'm not kidding. It, I, it, it, yeah, Two years is crazy to think. So we partnered with them for going on two years now, and they contacted us uh, here last month and said, Hey, since you've been such a great partner, would you be interested if we were to offer your community a special discount for the month of March? 30% off your entire purchase. Yeah. Brooklyn Bedding is a mattress manufacturer located in Phoenix, Arizona, and they have a variety of mattresses for all your needs, including special RV sizes. We have the Aurora Lux with special cooling technology. We've always slept on a firm mattress, but after looking at their firmness chart and based on our body weight and sleeping habits, we ordered the medium firmness. We've never had a mattress this comfortable. RVs have special mattress sizes, so make sure you measure your bed platform before you place your order. When we received our new mattress, we loaded it up in the RV and started unwrapping. It comes in a box, it's vacuum wrapped, and once you cut the plastic off, it balloons into shape and you're sleeping on your new mattress that night. RVmattress.com offers a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and they ship it to your door for free. If you've been considering a new mattress, go to RVmattress.com slash sweet travels to get 30% off your entire order during the month of March, 2024. We want to thank RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding for being a sponsor to this channel. Yeah, and like we said, they contacted us and they said since we've been such a great support to them, they were going to offer a special discount for our community and we jumped at the chance. Absolutely. 30% off your entire order. All you have to do is go to RVMattress.com slash Sweet Travels. It's going to take you, during the month of March, it's going to take you to a special landing page where you enter your mobile number. They're going to give you a special discount code to enter, which is going to give you 30% off your entire order during the month of March. So if you've been putting off that mattress for your RV or your or home. Or bedding. That's any right. Any kind of bedding. That's right. Uh, take advantage of this offer because uh, it only lasts through March 31st. So thanks again, Brooklyn Bedding, for sponsoring this video. Okay, so. We got a chance to go downtown and see what they call Contingency Row. And Contingency Row is an opportunity for spectators to really get up close and personal with the cars and the trucks, right? Yeah, yeah. So they had a police escort that took them downtown. They blocked off many, many, many blocks of, the, of, of streets downtown. And they lined up vendors on both sides of the streets. And the cars and the trucks would roll down the street uh, in line because they were getting inspected for safety gear, tech gear, uh, all of that stuff that they have to have in order to run the race. And it really gives 
the fans a chance to get in and, and touch and talk, you know, even talk to some of the crews and the drivers. Right, right. And they were giving away free t-shirts, yeah. and it was just really a neat, neat, yeah. neat place. And like I say, they had vendors and uh, kind of... Yeah, he was, he was in heaven. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was hard to get him away from a few. <laughs> Take a look. Another gorgeous morning. Oh my gosh, yeah. A little, a little cooler today. Well... This afternoon is supposed to be almost 80. Yeah, so. it's supposed to be 80 again today. Yeah, but the cloud coverage over here is very, oh, it's so pretty. So uh, this morning, we're going to rotate our crew through the road closure. And Kelly and I got first choice to go downtown to the um, contingency row. That would be different. So, as we understand it, we're not experts. No. Some of you guys that know this, this, uh, this off-road racing, you know what we're talking about. But for those that don't, contingency row, as we understand it, is kind of a. Uh, they have vendors there. Yeah. Uh, with off-road stuff. You uh, spend your money. Yep. And then uh, the cars are going to go downtown. And they get a police escort downtown and they line up and they inspect the cars. They inspect their, make sure they have all the equipment on board, their safety gear, check their safety gear and that sort of thing. So we're hoping we can see some of the cool cars. And we'll bring you with us. And trophy trucks. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go down and see what that's all about. Ready? I am. I'm ready. Just Let's need to lock up. Do this. Okay. Tell you what, Kel. I'm really, really This is this exactly what we've got. I mean, look how clean that is. Yeah. Now, what brand is it? What kind? It's garment, just like our, just like our RV. The, okay. The, uh, the RV 1095, in, in an off-road version. We got a recreational and a and a race version. Should we get the race version? Well, we don't race, but I'm sure that's probably double the price. Uh, yeah. It's just money. <laughs> it's just money, right? <laughs> just get it. No. <laughs> that face. No. <laughs> that was priceless. Thank you. 
came back the second time. That's a good sign for me. It's <laughs> <laughs> really, really tempting. I know, I've seen him. He's talking. Demonstrate how easy this is to, to clip on and out from my machine. So this dock here, you basically will permanently install it. I understand. Okay. If I want to pull the screen. Right here. Ready? Yep. Snap. Okay. Lift. Okay. Pull. Oh. <laughs> Snap in. Snap down. All right. All right. Boom. All right. I'm sold. All right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It's easy. And it's it real cool. Here. Like this won't come out. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice instead of having to yeah. whack the top of ours all the time? Yeah. And is that the magnet mount that normally comes with these? S similar process, but okay. yeah. So this this thing is the magnet mount here, and it works the same way. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this magnet's in, snaps down to lock it, and it stays in there nice. We were in Parker to volunteer for the race, but we also had some time to play in the desert with our friends. The area around Shea Road is full of trails, and we'd heard about a slot canyon about 50 miles away in Maggie Wash. So we suited up and hit the trail. over there in the valley isn't it it is it's so empty yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of people Everybody left already. left sure did did you have a good time i did i had a great time and of course hanging out with our friends is even better so well and that's what made it so much fun is, is we were with a group of friends and yeah we just all laughed and talked and had a really good time. 
I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. It'll be good to get to Wickenburg and just kind of have a down day because we haven't really had any down days. Yeah. We've been going, going, but it's been so worth it. It was, it was a great experience. It was a really good experience. I don't know that I'd do it again, but yeah. it was a good, it was a good experience. Yeah. And I learned a lot about off-road racing. We're kind of liking it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to follow the circuit, I think a little bit. And, um, there's a uh, there's a race in Vegas next month. I think we'll probably take that one in. Uh, we're still kind of talking about it, but that might be a lot of. I mean, we're not going to volunteer, but no, <laughs> we're just gonna. But it'd watch. be kind of fun to go watch. Uh, I guess it's a bigger race, bigger names. This one was a lot of fun. It was it was enjoyable. I had yeah, a good time. Me too. So again. This is our snowbird season of firsts. So we're just taking it all in and learning as much as we can. Boondocking obviously is not new to us, but uh, you know, boondocking with a purpose is is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really yeah. having a good time. Yeah, absolutely. And we've never really done boondocking with a purpose before. We've no. just boondocking in quartzite Yep. Basically, boot stocking. So. Yep. So this has been a lot of fun. So we're headed back. We had such a good time at in Wickenburg. Oh man. Uh, couple, it's my favorite. Three place. weeks ago or whatever it was, and we're gonna go back with our friends. They all wanted to go see what it's like. They'd not been there before. Randy and and Bobby were with us, and they're going as well. But uh, the other group has never been there and they thought they'd like to see what that's all about so we've got a week a down week so we're just going to go ahead and give it a try see what we got so we're going to use uh, that rv dump station again that we used on our way in boy that's so convenient it really is you can grab ice yep dump your garbage if you want we already did dumped ours grabs firewood if you want firewood yeah. they sell firewood there and it's just one stop shop so we're going to go dump and then fill up our gas tanks again for the toy and the generator it's cloudy today not going to get a whole lot of solar probably have to run the generator when we get there to bit but yeah. uh, I tell you I love the sun but it's nice having it kind of overcast and yeah it's supposed to sprinkle today that'll be nice take some of the rain and calm the dust down a little bit but I had a really good time and I mean I'm happy to leave this this scrub brush yeah we're ready it's time for a change yeah. and but again that's the beauty about this lifestyle is we've got our home behind us we just tow it tow it wherever we want to go and our home is with us our bed our bathroom our kitchen right and if you don't like your neighbors you we've would. already experienced this <laughs> then you just you know unfortunately yeah. we were gonna do it at 1.30 in the morning, but you move. Yep. So we did. All right, so off we go to fill up with some fresh water and dump our tanks and uh, fill up with some gas and on to Wickenburg. Nice.